All right, you guys. So we're going to do uh, the chest buster. If you saw my live video today on Facebook, you'll see that I have this chest buster, which is great. So it goes around. Chest buster is the alien that comes out of the chest of the person. So we're going to make this and it takes a few balloons um you're going to the the most it's going to take is is because of the uh blood dripping part and but that's really quick and easy you're going to need two white 260s one black 260 one red 160 and depending on how much blood you want squirting out i used uh four 260s in red so there's three and four all right so let's get this thing going let's see how you guys like this one so what we're going to do is make a circle or a hexagon I, I made a hexagon so we have uh one two three four five points to it and um so we've got a one inch pinch twist to start off and I did two so I do a second pinch twist this is the only one where you're gonna have two pinch twists to it it's a great anchoring point for when you wrap it around their body okay so you want the two pinch twists here then you go about the three fingers do another pinch twist three fingers another pinch twist three fingers Another pinch twist. And there's one, two, three, four. Three fingers. Another pinch twist. Well, sorry, you don't need to do that pinch twist. Three fingers. Oh, yeah, you do. My mistake, I'm not counting right. Pinch twist. And so you got one, two, three, four. And then here's the fifth one where you just go ahead and do three fingers and tie it into here. Okay, and then go ahead and break that off. This is your foundation of where the chest buster is going to come out of. Then you're going to take the 160 and pump that up. I'm using my electric CD that I got at All American Balloons allamericanbloons.net I thought it was .com but when I looked it up it's actually .net but I think if you did .com it will still pop up so we got this here and actually that is not red Let's see here okay this is actually pink I think I got it. I've got a dark corner over here, so it's kind of hard to see these 160s. So let's try to get the red. Okay, got a bit of a tail on the end. Six fingers or so. Okay, so gonna wrap around one of the pinch twists. Doesn't matter which one you start off with. Okay, this way, pinch twist, bring it back down, so you do like little two finger pin uh, bubbles, and a one finger pinch twist, and you can continue this pattern all the way around. Make sure you're squeezing it, keeping it soft, so it doesn't pop on you. And one more.
You can also use this as pull up a little air in there and use this also as a bit of the blood if you want. Ah. Tuck that in. So we got it there. Then we're going to take the black 260. Now, if you've watched my alien line work version, we're going to do the same thing, but we're only using it as a 260. We're only doing part of the body. So you only need 4, 8, 12. Okay. We're going to do a tulip twist, a deep tulip twist. So if you don't know how, people lift their fingers. I don't. Um, it helps slide the the finger out when you do it so you do the pinch the tulip twist and you go really deep down in this you're going all the way down to that second knuckle grab it and you're going to pull that finger out and it's going to distort it into kind of a it has a, a, a round shape alien heads have that round shape to it take that there and twist it and you've got the the, the knot down here. And then you can take a little bubble. Got a one finger bubble. I didn't I have to I have to do this kind of fast. Okay, so let's get that up back up there. Go way down there, grab it again, pull your finger back out. Ah. got that and you want a bubble let's do a little bit larger bubble so about half an inch and then another half an inch bubble this helps proportion that head and tie in his little arm so then you're going to make a little bit more of the body two and a half fingers and a pinch twist okay you're going to slide him in here and you're just going to secure it right up in here so he's, his body's right up in that in one of these pinch twists okay So you want to bring that up and back around, tuck that in there, so it's like that. Okay, so then you want to break this off. Pop it up with air. Pop it up with air, tie a knot. Because these, these little guys come out and they have little teeny arms. And you're just going to use this strap bit. Cut off the end. So you have this. Okay? And these little guys... I prefer going from the back. And just... Moving it forward. And he's got his hands. Look at that. Now, all these little guys have pretty sharp teeth. So we're just going to enhance it with a little bit of a, a line or your white edding. And you've got his teeth. Okay? So there you go, you've got that going. Regarding that, pinch twist up here. If you want him to sit up a little more, bring that pinch twist up more, and he actually will sit up more. Okay, creepy looking, pretty cool. Okay, the rest of it is just puffing air. Four fingers. Uh, 
and then split it. It's okay if it's uneven. I mean, it's blood drops, right? And then, oh, put up there. Take it like this. And then you want to secure it in the white pinch twist. Okay, so you can take it either way. You can go from up the bottom. Like I said, this is the only piece that's going to be the meticulous part is the blood drop. Depending on how many you want to use. Depends on how much blood you want, but you do want at least a ring of, of blood drops going around. Because literally the thing's bursting out of the guy's chest or the girl's chest, depending on which alien movie you watch, guys and girls. And other aliens get these. And one more. Now I do avoid the one of them without it, but you can add to that fifth pinch twist. I don't because I'm going to secure a balloon around it. Good drop. I like to bring these in a little bit to kind of cover a little bit of that. And you've got him coming out of the chest, like so. Now, <clears throat> we're going to take, set him down, take this, we're going to blow it all the way up. Almost all the way up, but then you're going to squeeze and stretch. But you want a little bit of an uh, end piece to secure it, let some air out. So you soften it up, give it a good stretch, and this will help being able to wrap around a person's body, an adult or a child, but the adult, like that, and literally it will go around. You should have quite a bit of excess, this way you can adjust. Twist it. And it's very, well, I hear it better, but it's very soft and flexible, which, which helps with the, um, with people moving around with it. And even if you put your arms down, they put their arms down like that, it's not going to pop. So that's why you have to make it soft. Okay, and then tie it off. Tuck the nozzle in there. And there you go. You got your chest buster. Okay. So here's another addition to my alien series. I hope you guys enjoy it. And you can also make the alien hat. And there is the line work alien. That's one of my newer uh, first tutorials I made over two years ago. And uh, you can keep the tips on. You can cut off the tips if you wish, if you want a cleaner look of uh, driplets and droplets. You can add more uh, cut up balloons, um, scrap balloons. So you have like just other bits of uh, blood shooting out. You can go as, as, as gruesome as you want or, or basic. This is the basic simple. You can add more to it if you like, and uh, I hope you enjoy this one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. Don't forget to practice, practice, and practice, because what does that create? A better balloon twister. Thanks. Have a good day. God bless. <laughs>